for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Easy Mutt. Use code VENOM at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, guys? Venom Fire here, back from the video, and today me bringing you guys my full free New York Giants defensive ebook. This is one of the best defenses in the game. I made an ebook on multiple defense earlier in the year, but this is becoming the meta. It's becoming more popular. You will soon see everybody start to run the New York Giants defense, and I'm going to bring all of the setups out of every formation right here in this one spot. Uh, it would be much appreciated if you guys could go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support me. I bring you guys all of these videos for free, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. So, New York Giants defense, why is it so good? We got tons of great formations. We're going to start out with 146. This is becoming more and more meta. You will see it more and more online. Um, you also got 335 wide, double A gap, 335 odd. Um, I'm not going to necessarily talk about 335 odd in this video. I did upload a blitz on it. I'll leave it linked in the description if you want to go check that out. But also, big nickel over G. So, we got a ton of great formations. Uh, our Rundy is going to be out of 335 wide. Um, but yeah, let's start out in the 146 because, again, I said this is one of the main reasons that everybody's running Giants defense. It's because of this formation right here. So, 146. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do, first things first, get your safeties at linebacker. We got McKinney and Love right here. Um, we're also going to adjust our zone drops for the blitz. We're going to set our flats to 20 yards and our curl flats to 5 yards. I like to have auto flip off for 146 personally because I always like to have my slot cornerback coming off that left-hand side. The blitz we're running is cover to sink. Now again, I did upload a couple of videos on those, but they're a little bit outdated. I have a different setup for this video. Um, but yeah, cover to sink. Right here. Now, I know I'm in current gen also. These plays do work in next gen. I believe the blitzes still do work, especially this one at 146 does work in next gen. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and come out in that blitz. We're going to be running it against Gun Bunch. I'm um, in Seahawks offense right here. Let's just run a base uh, Gun Bunch setup right here out of Z spot and go. And we will be good to go. So not only do I have the blitz to work, when they don't don't block the running back, I can get the blitz to come in when they do block the running back. So first things first, we're just going to send five routes out normally like how we would. Um, but let's set up our blitz here. So um, in the past couple of setups I've ran on 146, I have had to spread my D-line. But you don't actually have to do that anymore. So all you're going to do is press. Now against Gun Bunch, our slot cornerback on that left is already in a good position. We don't have to move him at all, which is definitely a positive uh, so you just press your DBs, and then what you do is you just slant your D-line outside and contain. So again, that's all you have to do. Press, press, slant outside, contain. Three adjustments. And again, for the first setup, we don't have to do anything with the running back because they are sending him out on a route. And I'm just going to show you the blitz, and then we'll hop into the backside adjustments here. So uh, just to show the blitz once, boom, right here. It did get blocked. Now, when that slot cornerback gets blocked by the left guard, your lefty end will get to disengage every time. So even though he did get blocked that time, it's not a big deal because, again, the left end will get to disengage when the left guard on offense picks up our slot corner. So, again, I'm just going to set up very quickly. You will see now we're going to get the pressure here, and that is what it looks like when you get pressure. It's not as clean as last year because the left guard does a little bit of a job kind of shifting over in the left tackle. Looks like he tilts horizontally. I'll show it one more time, then we'll hop into some of backside adjustments with the blitz. Again, just slant outside, contain. You can press if you want, um, but there you go. Perfect, perfect blitz, perfect pressure. Uh, again, they are sending the running back out. So let's hop into just a base setup, uh, and we're going to utilize our zone drops, which we set up. Uh, so you're going to press. Again, set up the blitz the exact same way. We're going to also shade over the top, so we get rid of those soft squats. We want our cloud flats to play 20 yards, so we put flats on the field. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to put R1 here in a curl flat, and you're going to just throw X in a curl flat. So here's just the base defense. We got double flats. Our responsibility is going to be the middle of the field. We're anticipating that we do get pressure, so the deep third is not too big of a deal, but that's obviously what you want to watch. You don't want to give up a one-play touchdown. So here's just going to be our base setup. Again, I'm just going to send the running back out. Uh, just gives us the flats will be defended now, so the running back is going to be defended. The tight end will be defended. The corner outs will be defended, and then we have to worry about B on his little route. So we're going to go ahead and use her that. And one thing I will say with the blitz, it's not necessarily guaranteed to get pressure every single time. It's not as good as Madden 20, although it is still a really good blitz. You might not get pressure every single rep that you do. 
Uh, but that's okay. You're sending four people. You don't necessarily expect to get pressure every single time, although it is nice. So here you see, again, we ran the double flat strategy. We used it and we got the pressure. Now, obviously it helps if you do have more speed at that slot corner position, but it's not necessary. We're using like a 72 overall DB, so not necessary. So again, I'm going to press. Uh, I'll show it one more time, then we'll hop into blocking the running back. So press, slant outside, contain. R1 curl flat, X linebacker curl flat, and you are good to go. Also straight over the top with that clad flat. Again, we will just snap the ball. Uh, we don't get pressure again, but you notice because it looked like that um, left guard kind of picked up on our corner. We did get the disengage, which again, you will get usually either the disengage or that slot cornerback coming free. So let's talk about if they block their halfback, block their running back. It's going to be the same style that you had to use last year if they block the running back. Uh, so what you're going to go ahead and do is, again, we're setting up the blitz the exact same way, press, sign outside, contain. But what we're going to do is, again, the strategy we used last year, we're going to man up X on Y just like this. And what that's going to do is the running back is going to look to the right side. He's going to ignore the slot cornerback. Uh, again, we're going to shoot over the top. And I would probably still recommend throwing R1 in a curl flat here. Um, even if they do send the running back out on a route, He's manned up, so he's going to be defended on a flat route. We don't necessarily have to worry about that left side and anything like a crosser. We can use her. Um, again, obviously, if they send the running back out, we're getting pressure. So here, I do believe I'm blocking my running back. Yes, I am. You see it right there. And we will snap the ball. Boom. We get the pressure. Now, it looks like... Now, you saw McKinney. He ran, like, very, very weird. Um, almost ran, like, diagonal on a blitz to the right. That's a weird animation, but it did the job. So you can't really complain about it. Um, just taking a look at our instant replay, watching McKinney and watching the running back. He's just, he's manned up on the running back. He's going to kind of run over. All, very, very weird. It's almost like he's on a glitched contain. Um, he's not really doing anything for us, but ultimately what he's doing is look at the running back. He's following him, so he does kind of have to run to that right side so that he's not worried about it. Uh, and then you see our slot cornerback's going to come unblocked perfectly, even though Dexter Lawrence here gets an instant disengage almost. He's occupying... Robinson, I believe, the tackle long enough, and our running back is doing nothing. All right, now we'll just hop into this blitz a couple more times, show it a couple more times, and then we will go into a new play. Uh, if you're wondering why there was a cut, I did drop my controller, so I had to reset everything, but we're good to go. So press. Um, again, we are slanting outside, containing, and then let's go with the block running back. We're going to block our running back, so we man up X on Y simply. And then again, like I said, I like to throw R1 in a curl flat and shade over the top. So again... Uh, with the blitz, it's not necessarily guaranteed to get pressure. You saw there, it didn't get pressure. And if it doesn't, that obviously does hurt a little bit. But uh, again, you're rushing for still. If, if he's continuing to block it, you might also, also want to go with a little bit of a bluff blitz, which you can definitely do. Um, so again, slant outside, contain. R1 curl flat, man up X on Y. And that's only if you know they're blocking the running back. Uh, here, we should get pressure. He did get bumped a little bit. Uh, you know, it is what it is, but... You've seen it get a pretty good pressure, and I would say around 60, 70% of the time, the blitz should uh, get that pressure. I'm not sure if using like a big D lineman at DN like I did is affecting it at all, but that could be a reason why. Uh, but I'll show one more time, then we will hop into other plays. Uh, I get, got picked up again, kind of weird, but uh, you saw it work. That usually doesn't happen too much. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe because my corner is a little bit too slow, but we're going to hop into a new formation now. Did spend a lot of time on that blitz. Moving on to our next defense, big nickel over G, really good for pass coverage. We got a couple of blitzes out of this along with some good coverage. This formation is pretty strong against the run as well. Um, but yeah, big nickel over G, let's hop into it. I'm going to go over three plays, cover three sky, strong safety linebacker blitz. You see both at the top spot and then strong safety blitz too. So three plays. Uh, one's a cover two shell, man coverage, and cover three. We're going to start with strong safety strong safety blitz two. Uh, one thing with big nickel over G, you're going to go to the slot cornerback package uh, to get those right adjustments. And then you're going to go ahead and sub in some safeties here at the linebacker spot. Again, get more speed for your blitz. So we're going to run strong safety, strong safety blitz two first. We're going to talk about the blitz. Then we will move into coverage. Again, with this play, you're going to keep those same zone drops. And yeah, let's just hop into just a little bit of a spread, mix it up a bit. Uh, now, hopping into our setup, you're just going to press right off the bat. It's going to be kind of similar to Big Dam, Big Dam 146. You're actually only blitzing one more person, though. So, you're blitzing an extra guy, um, but it does help against the run. Big Dam 146. Against, if you're running Big Dam 146, you kind of need the inside stuff. Otherwise, 
you will get toted on. So you're going to press, pinch D-line, and slant inside. You're just going to move this guy in just a bit, just right about here. You don't have to contain. Just move him in right around there. Then with your user, your user is going to be key with this blitz. You're going to kind of stand right about here. When the ball is snapped, you're going to kind of hold left trigger to strafe and move over to the right side, just slowly kind of occupying the center. Uh, so here's just the base. Again, I'm running no adjustments on it. And let's just go ahead and snap the ball. You see I slid over and boom, rush five against a five-man protection. And we got that pressure. I'll show it again. Press. Pinch your D-line, slant inside, and move your corner back in just a couple of steps right about there. Uh, again, not too much where he will get picked up by that left tackle uh, with McKinney. Again, you stand right around here. And make sure you're standing to the side that the corner is off. So if I was blitzing off the right, I would stand right here. Since I'm blitzing off the left, I'm going to stand right about here and just slide over to that right side. Again, snap the ball, slide over, and boom, we get pressure. Now, the running back was actually on a block and release there, and he still didn't block him. I'll show you guys the replay, how it works. Really, what you're doing is with your user, you're just kind of occupying that center. You notice, look at how the center is going to follow your user. He's running in the same motion right to that right side. Now, right here, um, the left tackle obviously has to choose. He's going to choose that inside guy, and we're going to get that quick pressure. We also ended up getting like a disengage, I believe, from Dexter Lawrence here in the middle, uh, and that's going to help us, but we don't need it. You see, just running a straight line, he's not going to get picked up. We don't need him on a container or anything. He's going to get that quick pressure. So, uh, again, a couple more times I'm going to show the blitz, and then we will hop into our coverage behind it. Again, I do have a lot of setups, so I'm trying to go as quickly as I can. Again, press, slant, or shift D-line, or pinch your D-line, and then slant inside. Again, with your user, stand right about here, occupy the center. Again, this blitz doesn't necessarily work every time sometimes it'll get blocked obviously if they block their halfback like this it should get picked up um, but again it is just a nice little blitz and out of big nickel over g it's nice to have a little pressure like this you see they block the running back but we still get two disengages i believe there so this is not only a uh cornerback edge heat style blitz but you can get disengages you saw they blocked six i rushed five and we had two people get pressure again i'm gonna block my halfback here and snap the ball, shift over, uh, and we almost get that slot cornerback pressure. Looks like we kind of got to disengage, but we didn't there. Not necessarily guaranteed to get pressure every time, but let's hop into some backside adjustments. We're in the strong safety blitz too. Uh, and let's say he's blocking his running back. He's going to bluff us. So we're going to set up the blitz the exact same way. I'm obviously not going to slant inside because that's better. That's worse for sheds, but I'm going to move this cornerback in, and I'm still going to stand here. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to put Y in a curl flat, and then just for the base setup, I could also throw A in a curl flat. So here's a look at our setup. I'm rushing four. Uh, now, I'm not the biggest fan of rushing four, um, but we got some other setups besides this one. And we'll just snap the ball like this. So stock four verticals. I'm going to kind of use in the middle of the field. You see, not the best um, because the middle of the field is wide open. I have to use her that deep, which makes it the running back wide open. So we're going to set it up again. Same way. We're just going to press, pinch that D-line, move that corner in. Put him in a curl flat. Then what we're going to do is actually going to throw B, our BD lineman in a curl flat. And then A is going to be in a middle third. So we're going to shade over the top again. Get those cloud flats. And then still with my user, I'm going to stay in the same spot. He thinks we're rushing five, but we're actually rushing three. Now I can actually kind of use this deep, this running back right here. You see, I know that's a pretty terrible route combo, just stock four verts. But uh, it's going to be a lot better for coverage. Uh, one more time, press. Move that player in. Also, if I wanted to, let's say he doesn't have any deep players. Let's go with a different play. Pia Reed. Uh, I could set it up kind of the same, but I would just leave A in his vert hook zone. So now I have extra help in the middle of the field. He hasn't really been attacking that deep zone, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then you see coverage pretty good. You're still going to get decent shed. So that's it for strong safety blitz too. Let's move on to this linebacker blitz. It's going to be similar, obviously, for the blitz concept. Stock man coverage. You're going to press. Pinch D-line. Slant inside, move your slot cornerback in. Um, and then what you're going to go ahead and do is just shade over the top. Now with this linebacker, I like to switch them. So what I'm doing is I'm going to man up A on RB and just put this guy right here on a blitz. I want my running back on the same side, man up with the same guy. Uh, obviously, stock man coverage. You're going to press shade over the top. You can move that free safety down. Blitz concept is going to be the exact same. You're still going to hover right here. And then you're just going to slide over. So again, I'm sliding over. We get pressure and boom. So it's just a different style of blitz. The blitz concept is the same, but we're in man instead of zone. 
Uh, man's going to be a little bit risky because if they pick up your blitz, you have cover zero over the top. That's not going to be a good thing. So be careful. Blitz in third and longs, things like that. Don't blitz on like a first and ten. Um, so again, what I did is I pressed. I pinched my D-line slant inside, moved that slot corner in. Then again, I like to flip these guys. So I'm going to put McKinney on the blitz and man up the running back from the other side. Hover right about here, snap the ball, and I'm going to slide over. Boom. Quick pressure. Very instant. Very difficult to block. Um, without blocking your running back, you honestly can't. I'll show it a couple more times because, again, it is man coverage. We are rushing five, so I can't really do too much on the back end. Again, I'm just flipping A on RB, pressing, shooting over the top, pitching, slanting inside, moving the cornerback in. With my user, I'm standing right here, snapping the ball, hovering, and boom, quick, quick pressure. So, again, there's not too, too much with that. If I wanted to go with a bluff blitz out of man coverage, what I would probably go ahead and do is throw Y on a hard flat and A on a hard flat like this. Pinch my D-line or I could just throw A on or RB on the man coverage. I have a hard flat on one side and then I'm using deep on that right side. So um, Also, maybe I throw B on like a curl flat to defend the flats. Things like that you can do. Uh, again, you want to move that slot corner back in though to help out. Uh, you see, geez, I don't know how that wasn't a pick six, but... Pretty good coverage on the back end. Let's move into our last play, just stock cover three. Now with the stock cover three, um, pretty much what you want to do is just double flat again. I'm going to throw X here in a hard flat, and I'm going to throw A in a hard flat. Just a pretty safe coverage over the top. You're not going to get beat deep. You're going to force your opponent to throw hitches, curl routes, running back hooks, like as you see right here. You see we get really good pass rush rushing three against five. Uh, and overall, it's just a very safe, conservative defense. And again, if I wanted to, because we have our flat set at 20, I could just instantly uh, shade underneath, shade back over the top to get quad flats on the field. And then I would throw A, and I would throw like X and A hard flat and A in, or X and a curl flat, excuse me, and then A in a curl flat like this. So here's something I could do. If I wanted to just flip them, that's probably what I would recommend doing actually. Um, but yeah, you see rushing three, we get really good sheds. I know that Jaguars offensive line is not the best, uh, and our line, Giants D line is obviously pretty good. So that could be a reason. I'll show it one more time here. Press, pinch, uh, shade underneath over the top, X in a curl flat, A in a curl flat, and snap the ball. Good coverage, good coverage deep. If they throw it, should be intercepted. Um, but yeah, overall, just a good conservative style of defense. I think if you put all three together, you're going to be in a really, really nice spot. All right, that's going to go ahead and do it for Big Nickel over G. Let's move into our next defense, which will be the 335 wide. This is where we get some man coverage and zone coverage, or run defense and pass defense, rather. We're going to start out with our run D out of the two man under. Um, again, it's going to be a basic, basic style of run D. Uh, this is for heavy, heavy toters. Just go with this stretch here. Basic setup is press, shade over the top, slant, shift your D-line to the side that they are running. And then I like to spy both safeties and blitz all linebackers and contain. So here's our setup. Overall solid. Now I actually forgot to put that safety in at linebacker. So we have Martinez here. He's going to be slower, but the run defense is going to be really, really nice right there. It's going to be very difficult to run the ball. Now, again, you're only spying your safeties if you're going against someone who's running the ball every play. If you're going against someone who's kind of mixing in this run pass, like a strong close formation, do not make sure, make sure you do not do this spy safeties. But I'll go over a different setup for kind of heavy toters slash passers. Uh, so, again, this first setup was press, shoot over the top, shifty line to the strong side, blitz all linebackers contain, and then just spy both those safeties with your user, move him back a little bit, and then run whatever side they're running into. You see this... Slot corner is going to get really nice spot. Our safeties were coming down. Our user is coming down. We had the outside linebacker in contain, preventing the outside run. Uh, let's go with a different run. Let's go with just a halfback zone. Again, press, shift, blitz all linebackers contain. Uh, make sure you shade over the top because if they throw a chark on a streak, we can't get burnt. Y on a spy, A on a spy. Uh, again, here we're running like the outside zone. Boom, look at that slot cornerback coming from that side. He's usually unblocked, which is really underrated. Uh, a lot of times people don't account for that slot cornerback. They might still try and run it to the right. Um, if they are continuing to flip you, so if they flip a lot, maybe you want to like spread your D-line, which is a concept that people do, that I do. Uh, and then you can go with the same kind of style of defense. If they flip the stretch, you see 
you're still going to get really good blocks even if you were to cut that inside our user was there so overall it's really really good run defense uh, again if I can audible here maybe something different I don't know it looks like it's just inside zone so show the stretch one more time flipped again if I notice I'm flipping, I don't want to shift to the left because if they run to the right, he's going to have a big hole. So I might just overall spread my D-line press, blitz all linebackers contain, spy both safeties, and we are good to go. Again, for the next time, I will show you what I do if I'm going against like a passer or someone who's in under center passing and running a lot. So let's say I'm going against someone. He's passing here. So we're going to go and run random pass here, just this play. What I'm going to go ahead and do, so I want to apply the run defense. I'm going to make him look like I'm running run defense, but I'm still going to usually blitz all linebackers and contain, but what I'm pretty much going to go ahead and do here is we're going to kind of sell out on the pass. So what I would do, strong side is going to be A, so usually the crosser will be going to the left. I'm going to throw Y on like a curl flat, shade over the top, or shade underneath, shade over the top. Then with A, people always try to go deep, so I can leave him in his deep half or put him in like an inside third. Uh, I can honestly also throw him in like a hook curl. So I could do something like that. And then with the weak side linebacker, which is going to be X in our case, we can throw him on like a vert hook. I could throw him in a curl flat if I want him to play a drag. But yeah, here would be my style of pass defense versus run defense. It's pretty lot. It's a lot of adjustments, but. It's going to serve you well. Might go down on A. I know X is a little bit open, but you see that that post is going to be covered. We have to cover it initially, then I can lurk down on X. I have a linebacker, so I can't cover as much ground. But yeah, so it's going to take a lot of adjustments. Again, what I did is I just set up the defense the exact same way, but I just threw X linebacker in a hard flat or in a curl flat, Y in a curl flat as shade under the shade over the top. And then what I did is I threw A and A inside third. And then even if I wanted to go extra, I could throw A in like a vert hook like this. Or I could actually just ban him up on A. Or I could throw him in a weak side curl flat, double flat strategy like this. So this defense, I'm rushing three. But let's say they even they still run stretch on something like this. Uh, it's still pretty good defense. You see like that, we were rushing only three people. And we still stopped the run really well. Again, I know I'm using Jacksonville, but just a base stretch like that would not work. So overall, really, really good concept. Let's go ahead and hop into a pass defense setup, though. So out of pass defense, out of 3-3-5 wide, I typically do not like to go with the cover two shell. For whatever reason, I'm just not a big fan of it. Uh, make sure I sub in my linebacker there. So the play I'm going to be running is going to be Mike Blitz 3. There is a blitz out of this play I uploaded. I'm not going to talk about it, but there is a nice blitz out of this. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to just run it. Usually I like to run it flipped. Uh, again, just put your corner on that wide side. Again, Mike Blitz 3. So this is going to be a very bluff blitz style of defense. I typically don't like to blitz out a bit. You can. There's a blitz again I uploaded, but it's pretty inconsistent. I don't find myself getting pressure too, too often. So be careful with that. Let's run Stock Flood here. Again, what I like to do is set up pretty much the same as the run D. We're going to shift. We're going to press just like this. So that's what I did. Next adjustment that you're going to do is you're just going to shade underneath and then shade over the top, get cloud flats on the field, and then I'm just going to throw A and A curl flat and X in a curl flat like this. So uh, you notice that I'm actually leaving this three rack hook in a zone. The reason for that is the three rack hook bluff blitz is really, really nice. We're actually only rushing two people. Um, I'm going to kind of hover with my user like right about here, make it look. So if I didn't see the player, what are you thinking right here? You might, you're probably thinking pressure. So... I'm going to actually block my running back. I think he's sending heat. Oh, no, he's not. He's actually rushing two. Uh, and you see the coverage really good. Look at that three-rack hook. He's going to follow the in route. I know in late play situations, he's kind of useless, which can be a problem if you're rushing two. But uh, this style of rushing two is very, very effective. If I don't want um, Dexter Lawrence, uh, you know, going ahead and dropping in coverage, if I want to rush at least three, I can just slant outside. And then what I would do is just throw again. I'm Sorry about that. You're pressing. You're shading underneath, you're shading over the top, get those clod flats, and then I'm throwing X in a curl flat and A in a curl flat like this. Here, I'm rushing three, so I should get a little bit better pressure. I'm going to kind of lurk down here, lurk back up, and you see pretty good pressure. We get a lot, we get pressure a lot quicker rushing three there. So, uh, again, you can kind of mix in three, two, and then if I always wanted to, I can just actually send the blitz. It's not really guaranteed that you're ever going to get pressure running this. Um, I mean, there's ways because, again, I uploaded a video. You can get pressure running this, but 
um, just right here, you're not going to get pressure. You're rushing five, and you see it's going to be the same exact time he had for rushing three. That's why I don't like bl running blitzes out of this formation, typically, unless I'm going to like touch up on a lineman and engage with him. So that's pretty much that. Uh, again, I could always like get a little bit glitchy with my plays. Um, I can always audible to like a cover two out of it, but um, typically. Uh, you want to run on that standard setup. If you want to get very adjusty, I could shit on each other at the top. And then maybe I throw X in like a curl flat and then the X linebacker in a vert hook like this. Then I actually blitz A and then I shift over. So I could run just unique things like this. I can always man up the running back out of a concept like this. Uh, I can still put A in the curl flat, rush two, or maybe I blitz X off the edge, whatever. So you can just mix in a lot of things with everybody on the line of scrimmage. You can mix in a ton of adjustments and just confuse your opponent overall, um, just like this. So overall, it's a really, really good pass defense. I run it a lot online, and it's difficult to defend because, again, you have the run defense man coverage out of it. You have this out of it. They look the exact same. And obviously, you can audible to cover two man, run man coverage. I can audible to like a cover two. Again, I don't really like cover two, but I could easily run a setup like this and have success. So where I use assured, just have base coverage down the field and I can actually rush three out of it. So uh, honestly, it is whatever, but <clears throat> you can definitely run a concept like that. The reason I'm against cover two out of three, three, five wide is simply because you only have one linebacker here. Usually you have to throw him in the middle of third and then you have to use her from this spot, which I hate. Um, so that's just me. So that's going to do it for three, three, five wide. Uh, we're going to hop into our last formation, 245 double A gap. Again, I know we have 335 odd. Again, I'm putting that in the description. Make sure you guys go check that out. So, we're going to hop into 245 double A gap. Um, again, out of this formation, you want some fast outside linebackers. I'm not exactly sure who is super fast on New York. Um, I'm going to assume these two guys are. Hopefully, they are. But again, this is a formation where I can get safeties at linebackers. So that's what I'm going to do. The play I'm going to run is going to be cover one hole. Uh, let's just go ahead, hop out in that. Uh, again, let's go with a gun bunch here. Gun bunch. Uh, let's go with, again, flood. Set it up the same way. So with this blitz setup, what you what I like to do is I'm just going to uh, spread your D-line, and then you just blitz all linebackers like this. So this is the, the standard, standard way to run the blitz. You're going to use the safety, and then you're going to hover in this middle gap like so. So get your left foot forward like this. Here's a look at our defense. Now, against Bunch, it's not the best because sometimes that outside linebacker on the right gets bumped. Um, but look at this. Just easy double-A gap. And again, I rushed six. He blocked five. So, realistically, two people shouldn't get free. It's this weird, weird hover over the linebacker, over the center that causes that. So, again, you're pressing, just shading over the top, base, spreading your D-line, and blitzing all linebackers. Again, you see, I'm, I have slow linebackers. These guys are not 90 speed. These guys are probably around 82 speed, and you saw how fast they got there. Now, <clears throat> really, your concern is going to be nano detection, which does happen. is frustrating, but it is what it is. You saw how quickly we got the pressure. So here I'm going to actually block my running back. We still should get that pressure. You know, snap it, and, you know, sometimes you don't, and we didn't there. Coverage is still good behind it. Uh, sometimes with that hover, it does – get a little bit weird where sometimes you'll get pressure sometimes you won't but here i'm just gonna send that running back out on a route again uh, again spread d-line blitz all linebackers press shade over the top with your user stand in this gap right here and snap the ball now the trick with your user something i didn't do on the last play is that right when the ball is snapped you kind of want to do the same thing you did with the big nick over g you're going to hold that left trigger almost strafe up and then kind of you don't even have to slide over you can just kind of stand there like this so uh, that's something i didn't do I'll do it here, but again, you saw we got two people getting that pressure. Again, press, shoot over the top, spread your line, blitz all linebackers like this. Make sure that he is in the hover position like this. I'm going to block my running back, and I'm going to kind of hover like this. So here we did get one, that guy coming off the edge. Looks like we should have got that middle guy. Again, we didn't, um, but we're, the bluff blitz is really what you're setting up. I'll show it one more time without blocking the running back, then we'll show the bluff blitz adjustments. Again, it's a very simple blitz to set up, so even if they quick snap you, you're getting going to get good pressure. Like this. Um, so again, you saw it did get picked up. Um, it's not the most consistent blitz, I will say, but you saw the couple of times that we did get the quick pressure. We had two people coming off the edge, um, and it can be really good. So let's say they're blocking the running back every every single time. There's no reason to test that and continue to send pressure. So we're gonna run a bluff blitz here. So what I like to do 
Honestly, you can just run it stock, but what I would do is I would throw this BD lineman probably on like a curl flat, or I would throw X on like a hard flat. Again, our hard flats are playing deep, so this guy, he's going to play deep. You can have outside linebackers here, and this is my favorite setup for rushing three. So again, I press shade over the top, spread D line, and I just put that X D lineman in a hard flat. So we still have the running back man up. We have this three receiver hook, which again, I mentioned I love. That's almost going to be like another user. Uh, really what you're worrying about here is going to be deep down the field. Uh, you see B's open. I can lurk down and get that interception. So um, that's a really good style of bluff blitz. This formation is the best formation. The you know bluff blitz pressure. It's very very difficult to see if someone is blitzing out of this set. Uh, and again, just one simple adjustment, just like this. I can rush. I can rush two. I can also rush three by running something like, or I can actually rush not three. I can rush two. So I can run something like this. I want a hard fight on the right. Whatever. Um, but it's just really easy to bluff pressure. Uh, you see, look at that player that's manned up on the running back. He's going to follow him. You, see, uh, you know, we're not going to get pressure because we only sent those two people, but that's just a good little strategy. This formation is also pretty good against the run because if I've got how many guys you have in the box, if I run like a base, uh, you see that it should realistically get blown up very easily. I missed with my user, which, you know, it's on me, but there was an easy gap shoot. So that's pretty much going to do it for the video again. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want more ebooks like this on defense, let me know what formation, what defense you want next. Might make one on 4-6. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, again, subscribe, hit that like button, and peace. I'm out of here.